and that's the issue with oneness because people are like, oh, let's go into oneness. But we got to agree, like you said, there has to be some type of agreement. There has to be some type of buy-in. And this person is like, sex. I want sex. That person may not want sex. Oh, this is frustrating. I yeah. understand that completely. But when you don't want to have sex with them, how do you want them to act? What do you want them to do? What do you want them to say? They're supposed to be, no, oh, I want it so you can give it to me? That sounds rapey. But when you <laughs> yeah. want it, it's now? Yeah, But when yeah. they want it, is it now? Yeah. So that's kind of what I mean. Like, is, are you really doing oneness in the sense of even the sameness? Is what I'm expecting of you the same of what I'm expecting of me? That's a good... Or that, is it that's, rightness? That sex one is a great one you bring up. I'd like to get into that one a little bit more. Um, I, know, I know for me personally... I, I already know that for the most part, you're down when I'm down for sex, right? But even still though, even with that knowledge, if for whatever reason I'm ready, and even if we're just not able to because schedule or you don't do something to let me know you're free and ready to, I can turn that into a straight personal attack against you like and it i'll be it doesn't hang around long to the point where it, you know i'm bothered for days or i need to bring it up to you it doesn't but the disappointment that i feel it's an emotional feeling of loss i wanted this thing and the person who i kind of need to engage to make this happen didn't do the thing and now there's a feeling of disappointment now depending on how ready you are the feeling of disappointment can vary and i know in myself i felt that emotional thing of mad at you literally mad at you oh i get because we didn't do it but see i think so <laughs> like, this is also an that's, updated that's file real. so i'm glad you brought that up because within the realm of marriage i think the file that i think needed to be updated and what i also see in other couples that needs to get updated is that sex is important People dismiss it like, oh, it's just sex, so it's not that big of a deal. I've seen so many couples dismiss it in the sense of deprioritize it, so it becomes the last thing on the agenda. Okay. I've also seen it deprioritized in ways that you're saying, like, our libidos may not be the same, so it's like, oh, psh, you want it too much. Right. Because it's not the same as mine. Yep. Um, but even to what you were saying, I think that it becomes like, this isn't something that should matter. And we forget, so don't eat for three days. How will you feel? It's going to be more than frustrated. Same for sex, honestly. Not to say that it's three days, but whatever that amount is, is different for each person. The same way when you fast for one day is very different than when I fast for one day. I get a lot more grumpy when I'm fasting than you do. I also get a lot more grumpy when, I'm not, when we're not having sex than you do. Uh -huh. So for me, it isn't just a disappointed. There's a certain point that everyone can last in not sleeping and not eating and not whatever. So there's a point when I get actually frustrated. Like when people laugh and joke about sexual frustration, that's legit. There's times when I've realized just because we haven't had sex so many times or like in a while for me, I'm irritated in sessions. And I can see it's almost like a lack of awareness, meaning sometimes I'm irritated and I don't know why. That makes sense. And I'm coming out of sessions and I'm like, I mean, why? Oh, I haven't hit my J yet. Because literally <laughs> that energy's on you, right? Yeah. Like it's like you haven't gotten off the energy. Well, there's been moments when I've had that and it's like, oh, I've hit the J, I've done this, I've done that. Oh, now we've had sex, I'm good again. It was sexual frustration on some level. You've been wanting that, not just connection, because people make it seem like it's just connection. Have you been horny? Like that's an actual physical discomfort. People, men get blue balls. You don't think women experience a version of blue balls? That's interesting, yeah. And it's I, I like that you brought up eating because there's an energy. Eating. It's like, oh, <laughs> she a nasty bitch. 